What is metaversy? Well, the short answer is that it's a blockchain-based trading game where you, as a player, can trade virtual options in companies which only exist in the metaverse. But what does that really mean? Are they all in here or out there? What does metaverse and the metaverse really mean? Well, metaverse I can tell you, is going to be the world's first fully emergent, fully multiplayer, narrative simulation game. It's going to be the world's first narrative trading game. In other words, any comparable games in the past or presently out there have been dull, they've been linear, and they've been just a matter of numbers on a screen. This, this, however, is a fully realized and internally complete world, which not only grabs and holds your attention, it will hold your imagination and reward your creativity, ingenuity, and most importantly, your personal expression. And that's what emergent means. I think Metaverse is the world's first fully emergent trading game because that's how I've been designing it. Emergent in this case means one thing, and it means many others, which I won't go through today, but I will do in the future. But for now, know that emergent means that we're close to emerging ourselves here with this game. We have a solid and well-crafted world that I've been writing on with the team. And most importantly, and differently to other games in this genre, we have a story, a story that facilitates. That's what emergent means when I say that it's the world's first fully emergent trading game. We have a solid and we have a well-crafted world that I, myself, and the team have been working on. Now, a story traditionally is quite linear, as mentioned earlier. It's self-contained, it's coherent, and there's an internal narrative to metaverse that will be, oh, if I do my job correctly, riveting. It will be compelling, inspiring, and quite exciting but emergent, and emergent in this case means that the game is forever evolving based on our players and what they do in the game. Because who doesn't want to be the wolf of Wall Street, beating the market at its own game, but without the scary possibility of losing a fortune and possibly ending up in jail as well? But what we do want, at least I, as a player of games myself, is a power fantasy. So with this in mind, who doesn't want to be the Wolf of Wall Street and beating the market at its own game? Metaverse will deliver that power fantasy directly to you, and I'm really hoping you'll love it. We've talked a little bit about Metaverse which is an admittedly quite strange name. However, now we know that it's the world's first fully emergent, fully narrative-driven trading game. But how do you actually play it? What do you, as the player of Metaverse, do in the game? And how do the game mechanics work? What does it even look like? Well, allow me to uh, explain a little bit more and give you some insight into this. Wherever you are and whenever you feel like playing, you can log in to the world of Metaverse on any device, from a phone to a games console, or even this computer. Obviously, this means that you can play the game when you're commuting to work, or sitting in the office, like this one, or you're sitting down in the park. However, uh, it's also a scalable game. But when you're on a more powerful device, well, the game 
it looks bigger, it looks better, the graphics are more intense. And really touching on that truly immersive quality that the game engine that we've used to make this game provides, which is the scalability of Unreal Engine 5. So now we know how you access the game, and but what happens in the game? This truly immersive story, this narrative, what does that mean? How can something be truly immersive? What does truly immersive mean? Well, first, we can talk a little bit about truth. The world that we've been building, and I consider myself a world builder. As a game designer and now game director, I've been building better worlds for a long time. And Metaversy is not the exception, but it's probably the biggest world that I've ever been crafting. Each company in the virtual world of the game, Metaversy, operates just like any other real company would. And thus, what you're playing is a simulation game where these companies operate independently of each other. These companies have been crafted by hand by myself and the wonderful team of talented developers that we've put together. These companies on the market, in the metaverse, in Metaversy, these will all report activities and plans to the Metaversy stock market. And taking into account the ups and downs of both the real world and fictional interactions that you, the players, will have within the game. Which means that you will actually have an effect on Metaversy. And what you do will have an effect on the game for all the other players and vice versa. So the game is very much alive. You can find yourself having to excuse yourself from social situations. <laughs> because you actually receive a text. A text from the game, from Metaversy, but it's not just a text from any old video game. It's not an annoying notification. No, it's a real text or a real phone call even, telling you to buy a bunch of a company's virtuals right now or to panic sell or, or to, to maybe consider some sort of option. The characters are speaking to you, the player, because these characters are also all individually operating as virtual entities in the game. And this will help immerse you. There will be characters within the game that you can interact directly with, just like the market and the companies. These characters, like stockbrokers, lawyers, just other traders that are also trying to make it big in the metaverse and explore this new world that we are calling metaversy. Well, they'll be communicating directly to you through your phone or through however you access the game. And they will maybe sometimes offer advice or offer guidance on how to actually be a market trader. Or they will send you a panic text asking you to maybe buy a bunch of a company's virtuals right now or to sell, sell, sell. Something's happened. Check, check in with the characters. Go read up on what's happened in the world of Metaversy because something is happening. But that something although there's an overarching narrative, that something is powered by you, the player, because your actions, your decisions, have a direct effect on the market. And this is where the opportunity lies, because you can become good at metaversity by learning how to become a market mastermind. It's going to feel real, because that's what immersive means. And when we write truly immersive in our ad copy and our promotional material, well, that's the truth. It really will be. You could have a situation where there's a player-generated stampede towards a particular company's virtuals, or the same in reverse from a company that might be in trouble. This could be inspired from inside the narrative of the game, but quickly becomes organic. And this is emergent again. This is the emergence I was talking about. These situations, these player-driven situations, could quickly become organic as players follow each other and see what the other players are doing and thus trigger real market-driven surges, just like a real market and unlike most other trading games. Now, my job profile, especially over the last, well, ever since I started working as a wee young lad, <laughs> 
Well, my job profile over the last few years has been heavily slanted towards creating alternative narrative gaming, ARG. This is a radical form of in-game storytelling that draws the player into a world that may blur the lines between their own lives, fiction, and their imagination. Say, there might be obscure clues that are spread throughout the community, maybe the metaverse community even, um, whether those be real life channels, I don't know, social media, the news, or other sources. Well, you could have a situation where there's an actual physical clue somewhere in that world, but it's the real world. I'm reading about somewhere in London. Do you have any contacts in the game that might be in London that you could speak to and ask about? Could you get together with them and maybe figure out some clue that will lead you to, to make some pretty impressive decisions on the metaverse market? Well, who can get to that, these clues first? Again, that's the player community being engaged. And it's something I've really been working hard with these past few years. And it's an exciting form of radical new storytelling. The example itself that I just gave may not necessarily be applicable directly to Metaverse all the time. It doesn't have to be in London. But this is what the idea is. We want to build something that's exciting, community-driven, and most importantly, alive. We want it to be utterly emergent. As a world builder, there's a thing I personally like to call Sigma Canonical. It's basically a term that I use for my love of quality lore. That's L-O-R-E, lore, not lore. But what is Sigma, Sigma Canonical lore? It's almost like an internal Wikipedia. It's a Bible of our stories, profiles, our companies, the people that inhabit our games, their history, everything. It extends our love for our own internal story, our minutia, the details. These all enhance character building, world building, franchise building, because metaversity is going big. This will help with a bit of luck and your support to bring some big name acting talents into our game in the future as well, because they'll be associated with the products which will be integral in the lives of tens of millions, probably hundreds of millions of players. Metaversity has the advantage over many other games for having a naturally long-term narrative because of this law that we've been creating, the Sigma canonical law. Yes, it's constantly growing and evolving, just as the stock markets of the world do. But at the same time, these are cyclically driven storylines, and they all have plot twists, and satisfyingly, they have narrative conclusions. So you'll have to keep an eye on what's going on in the world of metaverse. Keep checking back in, because something really important might be hidden there beneath all the information, all the rich history that is behind everything in the game. And you'll be one, you want to be there, and you want to be the first person to discover what others might not have caught up on or caught on to because there's something really important hidden in all this law, and this might get you past everyone else before everybody else has had time to react. I've worked on a lot of different game projects, and I strive for creating universally recognizable worlds with my work. And I chose Metaversy as my next one because, and I'm not exaggerating, it's a whole new level of exposure to storytelling possibilities. And that's what Metaversy really is in the end. It's a game, it's a really good game. It's a game that does what no other game has done before in this space. So it's quite literally a game changer. <laughs>